First tonight, she says it's against the will of God. That's the view of a London mother who's taken her son out of primary school in protest against lessons about same-sex relationships. And Izzy Montague says she's not the only parent unhappy. Lessons about relationships will become compulsory in schools from September next year, but incorporating same-sex relationships and transgender issues have proved controversial. Head teachers and campaigners say it's right for schools to promote inclusivity. Anna O'Neill has the story. And then, crack! Out came their very own baby. A group of five and six-year-olds at a school in Dartford learning about different kinds of families. It doesn't matter if it's a girl and a girl, a girl and a boy, or a boy and a boy, and then they get married, and then, yeah. The head of this school is a gay man with four adopted children. He says it's important that children understand that same-sex relationships exist. I think it's about five-year-olds understanding that within their class they're going to be 30 children with all sorts of different families. My own daughter goes to a school, she has two dads. Uh, I wouldn't be having this discussion about teaching your child to swim. I don't think we should be having this discussion about teaching every child about differences within our society. At the moment, schools can choose to teach about relationships or not. But from next year, relationships education will be compulsory in primary schools and same-sex relationships could be part of that teaching. Some parents are not happy. This mother took her child out of school because she said it pushed an aggressively gay-friendly agenda. For her, it's a matter of faith. It's not anything like race or age. It's, Can people not born gay? I don't believe they are. If you show me a gay gene, just like if you show me any genes such as like race or something, something indicated that is bi biological, I do personally believe that there is a biological drive but because it's not something that you can determine by science to say that somebody is gay, you cannot say, well, somebody is born gay. It's a choice. Her former school told us it teaches tolerance, inclusivity and equality for everybody and encourages all pupils to celebrate their differences. Gay rights campaigners say it's crucial that children learn about different kinds of people in order to be a more tolerant society. We've seen statistics from Stonewall about the amount of children and young people that are attempting to take their own life because they're being bullied for being LGBT. This isn't just about teaching, it's about saving lives potentially and that's why it's crucial. If you've heard that phrase, oh that's so gay. The guidance says schools can decide what is appropriate to teach and when, but LGBT people should be respected in British society and their relationships protected by law. Anna O'Neill, BBC London News. Well, with me here is the mum in Anna's report, Izzy Montague, and author Ollie Pike, who's um, a children's author, as I just said, and campaigns for more education of LGBT plus relationships in school. Uh, welcome to you both. Um, Izzy, you, you explained in that report there, but can we just clarify, is it the topic itself or the age that it's being taught? The topic itself. Um, I don't personally believe that this is a topic that needs to be taught in school. Everything has a purpose. School's purpose is to academically teach our children um, and it's got nothing to do with sexual lifestyles or desires or relationships. But by next year, all children will be learning about relationships and families, not, ne not necessarily sex ed education, but relationships and families. Aren't same-sex relationships part of that conversation? Families come in all shapes and sizes. Um, no, families don't come in all shapes and sizes. We decide what you know happens in our families and that's the thing some people might say well this is right for me some people disagree with it don't think you should teach everything to a child just because people think it's right for them i don't believe that there is such a thing as two mums or two dads there isn't biologically there isn't oh he's itching to get in <laughs> um i just want to say i think it's the school's responsibility to prepare children for life in modern britain and, and we know that's the case and this isn't just about teaching them about different types of people and different families, it's about saving lives. As, as I said, um, we know LGBT plus children experience like a higher volume of, of bullying and they're attempting um, to take their own life on some serious occasions and we just need to put a stop to it. But this is not anything to do with schools or how people, you can't change the way how people think. People naturally obviously have feelings towards certain things and you can't just indoctrinate other people's children. It's not saving lives. I mean, 
these are sound bites and jargon that's constantly churned out, which you have no proof to say that teaching we people... We have got proof, Izzy. We've got proof from Stonewall School Report 2017, Just Like Us Report, like... The All of which are LGBT campaign groups. They're nothing, you know, to do, they're, unbiased. they're not unbiased, are they? They're very biased. They're going out deliberately trying to prove that this is the causative factor They're here of to support LGBT plus people and save LGBT But how about there's lives. many children at the school who are not LGBT? How do you know that by confusing other children children who do not have these issues at school is going to cause more problems for them. I was one of those children at school who I was a Christian um, girl at school and anybody teaching me that it's wrong would make me feel that or make me feel that my feelings were wrong about let, this let would, me just, would make me feel let bad. Let me just bring Ollie in there. Do you wish that you had been taught something like this Absolutely, in school? Absolutely and that's the reason why I'm doing this because I felt so lonely growing up. I felt like something was wrong with me. Uh, on occasions, I just uh, I wasn't sure who I was and felt like I wasn't allowed to be myself. And I, I still have issues from, from that today. Uh, and that's a big driving factor as to why I create this content. Uh, can I just say, though, children aren't born with any kind of homophobia. Anything that helps increase tolerance in our society, isn't that a good thing? Well, you have to, you know, we have to define homophobia. And we have to define, make sure that people are understanding what tolerance is. Tolerance is to be able to agree to disagree. This is exactly what's going on in schools at the moment. You have people who, agree, who are agreeing to disagree. You can't force your agenda onto other people. When, what you're trying to, to Okay, Izzy, let me give the last, yeah. last point to you, Wally. We don't want to be tolerated. We want to be accepted, Izzy. Okay. We could carry on, but I'm afraid we have to leave it there. To you both, thank you very much indeed for coming in and sharing your views. Thank, thank you. you.